there. Welcome back to Ocero's Makerspace Corner. It's Miss Jessica here today. And I love the holidays. And so I'm kind of dressed up just because, you know what? It, this month, we can be silly, right? And for this whole month, I'm going to be doing kits to go um, for all of the activities that we have going on. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any more available because they went so fast. So if you want your hands on any of the kits that I have available for any future programs for the month, please go to our website and go to the calendar and then you can RSVP that way. And I'll call you when they're ready for pickup. And today we're doing an ultimate light clay. So in the kits, um, you'll be getting a piece of paper with some tips. And just working with this actual clay and then two random colors um, and the fun thing is I was inspired to make a little dish and I kind of just wanted to open it to whatever you guys want to create because sometimes a makerspace is just fun to play with a new material or play with something that you haven't played with in a very long time and sometimes it's just fun to get creative and you can make a dish if you want or make whatever you want. Um, and let's say, I don't like these colors, Miss Dress. That's okay, because guess what? You can um, go with some paint and you can make your creation alive that way. Or nail polish, um, Sharpies. And here in a minute, we're gonna post up the recipe that I found for just around household items that you have around the house put that on the screen here in a minute and you can pause this for a minute if you want to do a screenshot the reviews look really fun and like a really easy thing I'm sorry I don't have the directions here with it me but that's super easy and all I did was play with the play so I'm going to show you really fast how I made my little ball or Play things. Oh, and this is one package. This is one size, and then this is with two. So they're really kind of small, but they're fun. And this actual brand, the colors when they dry, they really are true to their colors. Um, but it's fun to add color and detail to your creation to make it alive. So I'm gonna scoot this over. And if you don't have this kind of clay, um, any air dry clay is really nice and easy to work with. And just Play-Doh. And that's okay. All right. And sometimes it sticks to the um, container, but it collects and sticks to it itself really easy. Now I just have to get it out. You just kind of stick on itself to get all that fun color. All right, there's the black. And to have this dry out, it took mine about 24 hours but it kind of just depends on how thick um, and the temperature of your room of how quickly it will dry. So just let it hang out in the corner somewhere and it'll be okay. And all I'm gonna do is just roll these out. And I kind of want to do a marbling thing, so I'm just gonna twist them. And if you want to add another color, you can. I'm just going to twist them together, kind of like a marbling. And I would wait to do the painting after it dries, just so that you can get all that moisture out. And that's, and then you can smear it if you want, it's kind of making it a cool effect. And you know what? Sometimes to roll it out, you use what you have. Mm -hmm. 
And this is how simple and easy it is to make a dish. But I will encourage you guys to make whatever you want. And these are really cool as gifts or a gift for yourself, too. It's kind of fun to do. I want the more organic y shape, and I'm just going to bring it up. And if you actually had like a bowl that you wanted to prop it up, you could have done that. I'm just kind of playing with it. And it's very forgiving. Like I don't have any special tools or anything. Ooh, I like that. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of put this up, make sure it doesn't stick on the table. And if you want, come back with your plastic and just put that on there so it doesn't stick to a table and just let that dry. And then you can come back in and with some nail polish. Um, this is actually two coats and it's so glossy, I love it. And then I just did some dots here with the Sharpies and it was turned out beautiful. So I know this is kind of random, but this is my testing. So that's all I have for today. Super simple. And sometimes keeping it simple is nice because it's fun having Makerspace and you being able to create what you want. Hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.